Lulu is opening the best doll hospital. The greatest doll doctors are waiting for their patients, and there are no lines. There should always be sterile gloves in the lab. Take an empty razor container and cut a small hole. Outline the container on a piece of cardboard to make one more wall. Put small gloves in and glue on a cardboard piece. Paint the box blue. Glue on a label with an opening in the middle. Don't forget to add a sticker. Now we'll know which side to pull. And the gloves will always be easy to reach. In the blood lab, a nurse always puts on a new pair of gloves for each of her patients. Come in! Don't worry, it'll only hurt a little bit. Pinch! <laughs> Was that it? Of course! Your results will be ready tomorrow. Let's make a belly band for Barbie. Take two elastic ribbons of different widths. Put on the bottom part to measure it. Cut a piece and burn the edges. Hot glue on some Velcro and secure the elastic. Measure the top of the belly. Take a thin ribbon and connect it to the bottom ribbon. This belly band is so comfy and it's very easy to use. <laughs> Barbie came to her checkup. I see that you are pretty far along. I can recommend that you wear a belly band. It'll reduce the strain on your back. Here, give it a try. <laughs> Thanks, doctor. I feel much better. After a little while, the doctors told Barbie some good news. Today is her due date. <gasps> Don't worry, everything is going as planned. Soon, two baby boys were born. What should I name you, little ones? A new mom needs a breast pump. Remove the extra part and glue it to the bottle as a lid. Paint it yellow, and the baby bottle is ready. Install a pink detail. It is movable. Hmm, so many plastic compartments. Which one should we use? Let's try this one. Glue it on. Remove the edge of a pen cap with tweezers. Now we have a small lever. Looks great. Draw divisions with a marker. Install it on the control panel. Hi, girlfriend. I have a little something for you. Ooh. This device will help you feed your babies wherever you are. Wow, thanks. A dentist office needs a comfy chair. Take a makeup sponge. Remove the wavy edges from a bigger sponge. Put the pieces on a cardboard sheet to make a chair. Draw outlines. Cut it out and glue the sponges to the cardboard frame. The first one is ready. Now, time to finish the rest. Make a chair support from a bottle cap and a bottle. Cut the bottle in half and glue the upper half to the bottle cap. Paint the support pink. Now the chair has a steady base. Make handles out of bended straws so the patient feels comfortable. Add soft armrests made of sponges. It's ready! You don't have to be scared of the dentist. Lucy isn't worried at all. She is perfectly calm. Let's take a look. What nice teeth! You take real good care of them. Good job! <laughs> Let's make the rest of the dentist chair. Remove the bottom from a paper cup. Cover it with white acrylic paint. A toy plate will come in handy. We'll use it as a sink. Bend a thick wire with round-shaped pliers. Glue the hook to a cone-shaped bead. One more bead, and the faucet is ready. Wow! Join two bendy parts of straws. Glue a transparent lid to the edge and paint it to the right color. 
decorate with a thin strip of silver tape. Yay! The lamp is right in place! Make a panel for the tools. Cut a mini container in half. Cover one side with foam paper. Glue it to the straw. Now time for the tools! Glue milling cutters to small white cords. Hide the wires inside. Leave a sticky strip of double-sided tape outside. It will hold all the tools! The tool rack and the chair are ready! Come in! This little patient needs a teeth cleaning. Our new device can help! Just a moment! And no more cavities! And we brush the teeth with whitening toothpaste. They shine like little pearls. <laughs> Make a tube of toothpaste. Hold the edge with tweezers and seal it. Cut the excess. Fill the opening with hot glue. Glue a bead on as a cap and paint it white. We just need to attach a label. Children need to develop a habit of cleaning their teeth. I will give you this tube of kids' toothpaste. Yay! I love blueberry flavor! <laughs> we need a toothbrush too! Remove a piece of a toothpick. And a pipe cleaner will be the bristles. Glue the two parts together and a tooth care kit is ready. Kids should always remember to brush their teeth every morning and every night. There is so much foam! But afterwards, you'll have nice, minty, fresh breath. <laughs> Dislocation? Sprain? Fracture? We need a brace! Outline Ken's foot on a sheet of glittery foam paper. Measure the leg. Cut the right piece out and glue it to the sole. It's so sparkly! Trim the foam paper so it fits the leg. Now let's decide how to secure the brace. Glue on ribbons and make fasteners out of foam tape. Try it on the leg. Great! It fits perfectly! Ken hurt his leg while skateboarding. Well, let's see. You dislocated a bone. We need to secure your leg. Put some ice on it, massage your leg, and then we'll put on a brace. It'll be okay, but you'll have to wear it for a few weeks. Thanks, I'll be all better by the end of the month. <laughs> you'll need some wire to make a walker. Bend the wire to make a frame. Make handles out of plastic straw pieces. These broken toy wheels will drive again! Connect a pair of bigger wheels with the help of a straw. Hot glue a pair of back wheels. After putting on the brace, we need to check how Ken's leg is doing. Does it hurt? Let's check it out and cover the leg with some anesthetic gel. Use your walker. You'll have to use it for a while, but then you can skateboard again! <laughs> Ew! I have a runny nose! I need some nasal spray! Take a cap from a gel tube and a part of a Q-tip. Connect them and top it with a cap. A transparent pen rod. We only need to glue on a label. The waiting room is so quiet! Achoo! Not so quiet after all! <laughs> Miss, take some nasal spray! Thanks! I have allergies again! <laughs> Let's make a height chart! Remove the edges from a transparent plastic lid. Make holes with a heated awl. Glue a small cord to a bead and pull it through a box. Tie knots on both ends. You can move the bead up and down. Cut a piece out of thick cardboard. We made a printed ruler of the same size. Connect the cardboard and the ruler using double-sided tape. 
cover it with a piece of plastic. We'll install a height chart on a lid as a base. Attach a bended wire to it and add a scale. Hello? <laughs> Let's stand in front of this height chart. Stand still. Three feet! <laughs> Yay! Awesome! <laughs> like our video? <laughs> Subscribe to Lalaloo and click the bell so you don't miss any of our new videos!